Hi, I'm Craig from Accio, and I'd like to share an application of Accio in the human resources space. I'm going to use data from the employment history of a company to create an AI model that predicts which employees are most likely to leave next. I'll start by clicking Create New Flow. And I'll give our model a title. Then I choose some data to input. In the future, Accio will integrate directly with many data platforms you currently use, like Workday, Salesforce, and more. For now, I'll just upload data from a CSV. Excel works too. I'll use this data set I've already uploaded. It's a collection of 1,470 employee records with information like their age, salary, whether they've traveled a lot for business, uh, their department they work in, and so on. This data set is from a data science team at IBM, but it's representative of the data that many HR orgs have. Accio automatically recognizes the type of data that's in each column. You can see that Accio recognizes age as a number, business travel as a category, and so on. Attrition is the variable we want to predict for. This column shows whether someone has left or not. We'll use this historical data to create our prediction model. So now I'm going to add a step. I scroll down to flow steps. And here, if I had data in multiple places, I could use the merge data action to combine those databases into one. But I have all my data together here, so I'm going to click predict. Here you select the name of the field or fields that you want to predict. In this case, I'm going to select attrition, and off we go. Accio loads the data and creates a neural network that's unique to your data. And this one's done already. So here's what happens under the hood when you train a model. Accio creates a, pr creates a prediction model with 80% of the data you give it. This is called the training set. Then it runs the other 20% of it through that model to give you information about the quality of the model you just made. You can see a summary of those results right here. So how'd we do? Accuracy shows that we predicted the correct result 89% of the time. But what we're really interested in here is how good the model is at finding people who might leave. So let's look at the yes answers. It correctly identified 15 of the 33 people who left, along with six false positives. While not perfect, you can see that an HR department and managers could use this prediction data to focus their efforts at understanding what's going on with this much smaller set of people. Accio also shows you which fields have the most predictive power in your model, up here. With this, you can get a feel for what's driving the outcome of the model. You can see the most important fields in this model are daily rate. This is a salary level for each employee, the amount of training time they completed last year, and the number of companies they've worked in. But these fields together only account for 20% of the predictive accuracy, so there's a lot more going on here than just that. The last step is to deploy your model and do some predictions. So I'll add a step. I'll scroll down to output steps. And here's my ways to do that. You can use an API to pass data in and get results out programmatically. And instructions for that can be found by clicking here. But the easiest way to deploy it is with a web app. So I'm going to select web app. And here I can change the title, I can add a subtitle, uh, or I can uh, select the fields that I want to appear. So I'm going to select just the couple most important ones, maybe the hourly rate, and how much training time they had last year. I can also make the model private. and select Deploy. There we go, we have a live app now. Now you can enter data in here and get predictions out. So let's say the hourly rate was 20 and the training times last year was eight. 
it would predict that no, that that person would not uh, leave the company. So that's it. Accio lets people who never would have dreamed of solving problems with AI do it in 10 minutes or less. Check us out at Accio.com.